Hey guys, Louis Montez here. I want to show something I've been working on. Um, what I have here is a Raspberry Pi um, Model A+. It's the $20 version. Um, it's being powered by this uh, little USB uh, battery. And I've also got it connected to uh, a little breadboard here and um, an LED on the breadboard with the resistor and the LEDs uh, connected to the uh, connected to a GPIO and that's physical pin 5 which um, translates to wiring pin 9. Um, anyways I've got also a ground connected to the ground on the GPIOs. Um, what I have running on the Raspberry Pi is a little node server and that node server is connected um, to the GPIOs using uh, Brian Hughes's library called raspy-io um, in addition to that, I have something I'm calling Remote I.O., which allows me to remote control um, any other type of device uh, that any other type of device that has a, a library to talk to the pins. So, OK. Um, also, that node service um, is a web server. So I can come over here to um, I'll reload this here. This is actually um, bringing up a web page hosted from the Raspberry Pi device. And what this web page does is it has a little code editor here and inside of the code editor we're writing in JavaScript um, we have uh, by default here an instance of um, a Johnny 5 board. Now, Johnny 5 is a robotics library built in JavaScript and uh, since we have that here in the page we can edit things but I'm just going to go with the default which is um, connecting to pin 9 and then doing a blink on that. So I'll go ahead and run that and that is um, using a web socket to go back to the Raspberry Pi and send information. Um, and so what I told it to do is blink every uh, 500 milliseconds. And if you look over here at the um, at that LED, it's now blinking. So we, what we got here is a full uh, IDE with the entire Johnny Five uh, API. So we can do things like servos and you know LEDs, obviously, and, and all kinds of cool robotic stuff. And we can do that from a web page over to a uh, Raspberry Pi. And with a little bit of tweaking, this could also be um, on a Galileo or a BeagleBone Black or anything like that. So there it is. I'll uh, uh, check the links if you want to see more detail on exactly what's happening over the wire and, and how all these pieces actually work together. But there you go. Thanks.